This is Tuesday the 27th, and I've got 35 videos uh, that I've taken over the last day. Just so much has happened. And uh, I've taken the top the top six that are somewhat linked, and, and I, I'll put them after this video here, this introductory. Anyway, uh, everybody's here except for one fellow who's going to come in either today or tomorrow, a friend of Greg's. And um, my... The bike I'm going to ride is here. You can see the pole specter. They, they just unloaded three bikes out of that uh, that trailer. And so here's a, a, a compilation of some things we did yesterday. And um, I'll do more. I'll be taking more videos today, plus the ones I have left over from the, uh, the last iteration. And uh, I'll try not to bore you. Uh, just uh, let, let you see what's happening here. That's my little heater. Uh, when it gets chilly at night, it kicks on and keeps the whole coach warm. And uh, it's just a little chilly right now, so it just did. So anyway, that's that's where we are. And um, I'll keep you prized. Well, we're doing another evening mule ride. This is uh, Greg driving. Mark's sitting next to him. We're the guy sitting next to me. Then we're gonna go down and see if we can see that albino deer try again. What's that deer's name? Frosty. Frosty. Okay, I forgot that. The albino deer's name is Frosty. So we, uh, we just talked to some neighbors. They said it is down here tonight. So we're gonna go down here and see if we can find it. Good morning. It's about 5:30 or so in the morning. Everybody's asleep in the house. I just thought I'd come out and show you what a Foggy mountain morning looks like. Fog rolls in, covers the hills. Look at that. Greg says sometimes you can't even see across this patio I'm standing on. Silence, very, very quiet. It is so quiet out here. No city noises. Can you hear the birds? Boys and Toys, Mark Long uh, came up last night, yesterday. This is his rig. He's got a full dress um, Indian. And he's got this monster trailer. He can put like six bikes in it. Or at least four, I'm guessing. And he painted it. That's what he does. Paints motorcycles, custom cars. He did all that. That's his truck. You can see through the fog, there's the neighbors. Anyway, just thought I'd show you foggy mountain morning. This is this is genius at work. This is Mark Long, and he's designing a wrap for this truck. Now, I knew Mark for years, and, I, and he was a painter and a pinstriper, and he went into custom cars and custom bikes. And now he's designing these wraps. He's got the company he does, does the designing, and he's got the company that does the applications. And he actually is down here working each morning, doing work, and then shipping it up to the company that's going to up actually apply the wrap. Mark, would, would you please bring up that big truck you did and just... All right. Just show these folks what what that monster. He's doing a, a monster, monster 
tow truck that's just in freaking incredible that he did. And, I'm, and here I am interrupting his concentration. All right, Mark is working on this truck. It started out as a, just a plain gray silver truck and he's come up with this wrap for his client. But I'm going to ask him to go back and show you a big monster tow truck that he did because it is mind-boggling in its complexity and its beauty. This is... Oh, look at that. That is a wrap. These guys are from New York. That's a $1.2 million truck. <laughs> and I would give it a million dollar wrap. Isn't that beyond comprehension? And, and Mark designs it all. Designs it all. Designs every bit of that and puts it together as a wrap for this monster truck. Isn't that gorgeous? It blows my mind, Mark, because as I said, I knew you were a painter. I knew you were a striper. I had no idea you'd moved into this area. Yep. Well, when you get old, you got to do something. <laughs> this is Mark Long, and the man is a genius. <laughs> and he's working here. And I we're can't gonna... get up and down like I used to on <laughs> pinstriping. So. <laughs> no more paints, no more brushes, no more, no more cleaning yeah. up. It's no all more sucking right. in fumes. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're working in the morning and riding in the afternoon. Later, guys. I thought you might enjoy this. All right. See you, guys. When we did the tree farm last week. We're at a neighbor of Greg's, invited this town for a picnic. He made brisket. It took, it took 24 hours of slow little cooking. And oh my goodness, it was so good. So this is all neighbors from Greg's neighborhood in their house. You don't get dusty in there. All these fine air folks. Conditioner on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I gotta, I gotta get back. Everybody wave and say hi. 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 Hello. Hmm. It's a beautiful bus. Last time I saw a kettle this big, there was a missionary in it. I think it's half of an ocean going boy. Isn't that neat? It's in the evening of uh, Monday, I guess. This is my brother Kim's truck and his Harley Davidson on the back. Uh, he does body work on uh, boats, small boats, big boats, self-employed. Wonderful deal. This bike is Kim's bike. Kim, what year is your bike? 1994. 1994. Just turned. 1994. Full. This is a Road King, right? Uh, yeah. Sure is. Isn't it's that gorgeous? Kawasaki. 1994. It's all. That's gorgeous. 1994. Old fishtail pipes. This is old school. This is old school. He has owned it. Taking it out. Isn't that something? Side first. I, I do too. And put a kickstand down. You always keep your kickstand down 